not another weight loss video i do weight loss videos and i'm not consistent i don't be consistent i'm marvelous i'm fabulous but something that i struggle with manifesting is weight loss weight loss is so easy it's easy calorie deficit eat less food you lose weight but I can't seem to control myself. Not that you have to control yourself, but feel as if I can eat what I want and not gain weight. And you don't even have to eat healthy to lose weight. I mean, if you believe that you can lose weight, you can lose weight. It's easy. Manifesting is not hard. We we are the ones that make it hard. It's easy. So I have free gym membership that goes with my Medicaid. And I'm going to go to the gym that's in my city and get the free membership tomorrow. I have coffee with Stevia. I do dirty fasting, dirty fasting. So that's bang energy drinks, um, stevia, sweetened drinks, erythritol, um, energy drinks that's zero calories, power rate zero, your dirty intimate fasting. I don't do pure, and I do it for weight loss. Pure is better, but can't do it, won't do it. I do sh five calorie sugar free um, water flavor. When I weighed myself, I was two twenty five. I've got to lose weight. Your SP is gonna want you regardless, but my SP he wants me thin. He wants me. He likes me thin, and sometimes. When it comes to love work and manifestation, it's two different things. I believe it's two different things. Because law of attraction will tell you they love you who you are. It doesn't matter who you are. They love you. But spell work, you got to work with something. If he loves you small, you need to be small. If, if he loves you not being on his back, you can't be on his back. So... I use some of the principles when it comes to love work. When it comes comes to love work, I use it for manifestation. Like, if he wants you thin, he's going to want you thin. So you need to lose weight if he catch my drift. You know, common sense. This is common sense stuff. Some coaches will say he loves you at your size. I don't think that's true sometimes. You know, we have things we want, we desire. And if you know the target you have likes them small, you might need to lose weight or you might need to dress differently. I don't know. But my target, my love target, loves them smaller, thinner, fitter. So I got to lose weight. But... I'm not going to lose weight if I'm sad, down, out, depressed about myself, eating. I got to boss up and be like, I'm that chick. These other chicks, he don't want. He wants me. He's going to come back to me. He's going to want me. I have to boss up. I got to boss up. I got to get out of this depressive demeanor I'm in. I can't be doing all that. So, back to intermittent fasting. I'm doing the 16-8 protocol. Dirty fasting. Stevia in my coffee. Driving lessons on deck. Learning to drive. Getting my driving license. Keep doing my videos and stuff. Keep working on myself. Back to songwriting lessons. I'm back to that.
back to that and back to losing weight because I've been yo-yoing the same 10 pounds for months and it's depressive. It's mind-boggling. It's stupid. It's dumb. It's an idiot and I don't like it no more. So I have to do something about it. When you see a problem, do something about it. Don't wait. Be proactive. Don't wait until you got diabetes and and heart blood pressure and stuff to fix your issues. Fix them now. That's something with magic. Fix your issues now. If you have love addiction or is something wrong, get therapy. Don't wait to the last minute to get spell work to fix a problem. Do stuff. Stay on your spiritual baths. That's something that I need to be consistent on. Do your spiritual baths. Do them all the time. Do them so regularly that you don't have to worry about something coming up and emergency and you're all in craziness. And you have to do something because you haven't been keeping up the proactive work to prevent stuff. You have to use preventive magic. You have to do stuff to prevent stuff. And that's what I'm doing. I'm doing something now. I'm preventing havoc, chaos. I have to do something now. Right now. I have to get my life in order right now I have to get my life now I have to do something about my life now if I don't do something about my life now I'm going to be 50 years old fat ugly alone with nobody because I didn't want to boss up and do something about my life I'm a grown ass woman I must get on my grown ass woman shit and do something about my life Ain't nobody going to love me but me. Ain't nobody going to do nothing but me. If I don't do it, no one else will do it. No one can do it for me. I can only do it for myself. And I'm tired of the okie doke. I'm tired of the crumbs. I'm tired of people giving me the crumbs. I don't want the crumbs. I don't accept the crumbs. I'm not the crumbs. Don't give me the crumbs. I'm not accepting that. If you're not giving me what I want, you cannot be here. If you're not living the life that I want to see, you cannot be here. If you're not doing the shit that I want to see, you cannot be here. We are not doing that. We are not participating in that. We are not accepting that. We are not accepting trash. We don't accept trash. See, I've been accepting trash. I've been doing trash behavior because I didn't love myself. I didn't adore myself. I didn't let Pumajira let me know that she loved me. Pumajira had to let me know that she loved me, that I need to boss up. I need to stop being a little scared-ass bitch and boss up and stop being a little girl and grow up and become a woman. Because I am a woman. I am becoming a woman. I am yet to be a woman. I am not a woman yet. I have not grown to be a woman. I do not do womanly things yet. And I hope to become a woman. A good woman. A God-fearing woman. A woman that loves God. That loves other spirits. That loves herself. That has enough love for a man to love me. I've been sleeping on myself. But I'm not sleeping on myself no more. I'm up. I must wake up every day, get up, get my ass up in the morning. Have things I do every day. Have discipline, consistency. I don't have, I I like that. And I need to get that. My Virgo ex shitted on me. But he thin. He thin. He's consistent. He's disciplined. 
He's everything I'm not, and I need some of that in my life. So if I want that back, I got to get on my ball shit. I got to make shit happen. I got to make shit pop. I got to make a dollar out of 50 cents. I don't know how, but I know I'm going to make a way. We got to boss up. So if you're on my channel, we got to boss up. We got to elevate. We got to make ourselves boss up. I can't stay in this room no more. I can't stay in this room all day anymore. I got to boss up and get my license. I got to go out in the world and make a check and make a dollar and make that ass clap. I can't stay stuck in this room. I got to make a, make a dollar, be in the escort and make that ass clap and make it bounce. I can't stay in my room no more because I've been staying in my room, doing stuff in my room, no license, no nothing. And I've been procrastinating, not doing anything. And spirit is calling me the fuck out. It's calling me to fuck out. Get your ass up. Do something about it, bitch. So, this is your wake-up call. Wake the fuck up. Snap out of it. Get out that depression. Because, bitch, you've been in depression. Get out that depression. Love yourself. Adore yourself. Do your pedicure. Do your manicure. Wash your ass. Wash your ass. Somebody needs to hear this. Wash your ass. Brush your teeth. Eat your breakfast. We taking care of ourselves. We not waiting to the last minute. I had to air to air myself out cuz I've been sleeping on myself. But I can't sleep on myself no more. No, I can't sleep on myself no more. So we got to rise up. And become bad bitches. Because we're bad bitches. If you want to be a fame, famous. If you want to be a celebrity. If you want to be a house mom. If you want to be a teacher. You can be that shit. But you got to trust in you. And you got to believe in you. And you got to love yourself. You can't be loving everybody else and not love yourself. So boss up. And do something about it. Because when I motivate you, I'm going to motivate you. That's why I'm going to be a motivational speaker. I'm going to be a coach. I'm a coach woman. But I have to make my life better. So women will want to work with me to make their life better. It's a journey. I'm not going to make six figures in a day. When it comes to manifesting, it takes time. Yes, shit does take time. Yes, you can manifest stuff instant. But let's not fake the funk like it take, don't take time. Some shit take time. You can call it divine timing. You can just call it fucking time. But it takes time. But if you believe in that shit, you're going to get that shit. And I believe in that shit. And I'm going to get that shit. So, we vision. I'm revising. I have to revise. I have to go in there and revise and say some shit got to change. And some shit got to change. Thank you for watching. Back on my bully. Back on my bullshit. Watch. Come back. Come again. Tell a friend. Subscribe. Comment. Hate. Do what the fuck you want. But this is my shit. Peace.